The old lady smashed her teeth against the edge of the well because they were so perfect. Then she covered her mouth and rinsed it out. After all that effort, she only lost to teeth. But Orin was satisfied that she wouldn't be laughed at by the whole village. She went to the most crowded place in the village and opened her bloody mouth to show off her new teeth. It scared everyone away. Orin was disappointed to return home to find that her daughter-in-law, Jewel, had taken care of everything. Jewel and her son Jack were getting along just fine, but Orin's youngest son, Sam, continued to be a problem for her. His daily lust for the dog next door wasn't going to last. Until one night, Sam overheard what his neighbor said to his wife before he died. He thinks he's sick because he beat a boy to death a few years ago. Since then, he's been sick as if by a curse. He asked his wife to let all the men in the village be her husbands once after his death. That might break the curse. His wife agreed. Sam was thrilled to hear it. Soon he would be a real man. The next day, he told all the men in the village. But the villagers didn't believe him and laughed at him for going to the dogs again.